hello and welcome to another video benefx trader uh, our website is www.benefxtrader.com we want you to subscribe to our channel benefx trader and then want to send our appreciation to those of you that have already subscribed we say a big thank you for encouraging us to do more videos also we want you to like our videos so that uh, the youtube algorithm can uh, make our videos available to new members or new viewers then we want you to make comments below the video ask questions if you're not clear with any part of the video as regards our strategies also click on the bell button below the video click on the bell button is for notification so that the next time we release a new video you'll be the first to see it on your notification bar all right don't forget our website is www.bnfxtrader.com you'll find strategies you can use to trade uh, boom and crash uh, forex or volatility index or gold find such strategies on the website okay today we'll be looking at a strategy you can use to trade uh, boom and crash and on my chart i have crash 500 crash 500 index five minutes time frame okay this is a very good strategy it has to do with uh indicators uh when price cross over uh bollinger bands on the main charts and on the uh and also uh, the moving averages cross over the bullion japan on indicator window one then you get your signal if it's a cross up you have a buy signal if it's a cross down you have a sell signal now i have two windows on the chart i have the main window this is my main window this is my main window then i have, I have indicator window one this is indicator window one all right now let's look at the settings of the indicators on the main window on the main chart okay all right i have fractals uh, one of the indicators i like uh on metatrader 5 is fractals uh, fractals serves as a guide uh for me it helps me to identify point of price rejection on the chart it pops up an arrow if the arrow is pointing upward i know price may likely turn downwards and the, if the arrow is the fractal arrow is pointing downwards i know price may likely turn upwards. so fractals help me to identify my areas or zones or levels of support and resistance so i the first indicator i put on my chart is fractals it guides me and tells me oh i have a spike oh i have uh, a, a, a resistance or a support area so i like to use fractal a lot and if you can use fractal in your chart it will help you uh, a great deal okay the next indicator is moving average i have 13 period moving average all right 13 period moving average and it's simple apply to close the color is blue all right i also have uh 30 period exponential moving average applied to low and the color is black and i have bollinger bands 340 periods okay deviation is 0 0.119 shift is 50 applied to close and the color is black all right and lastly on the main chart i have seven period moving average simple uh, is applied to close and the color is uh pink or magenta or whatever the case may be now this is my main chart and i have the seven period 13 period uh and 30 period moving averages just below price here now when the moving averages when they cross the uh, bollinger bands with price I know that's my buy confirmation so i can place a buy uh i can execute a buy order and start to ride the trend but when it 
cross it down like I have here. I know it's time to sell. And I can execute my sell order and I'll enjoy my profits. It's a very good strategy for boom and crash. You can also use this strategy for uh, range break. Okay. So, and also if I'm selling, like you have a sell confirmation around here, total cross down and price ticks stays below all moving averages like here i'm zooming out you can see price touching uh price enters into uh, the zone here and then cross down and it's your sell confirmation you can continue to sell so but if price enters into the seven moving average and 13 moving average know that the bearish trend is still strong so it could price will continue to spike downwards okay like you have here but once it enters uh the 30 period area like you have around here know that bearish trend may likely come to an end soon okay and moreover when it also you know crosses above the 30 period okay like you have around here know that your bearish trend may come and you can see may come to an end and you can see what happened we have a consolidation okay before price now starts to go up and then you have a bullish trend formation as soon as you have a cross above the bollinger bands like you have around here so it's basically a simple strategy and once you have your confirmation that has crossed you can start to buy though price will enter into the um retest zone which is within the 13 the 7 13 and 30 moving averages and also breaks out out of the moving averages you continue to buy all right just like the case is for when you are selling okay around here so that's that for the main chart for indicator window one let's look at the settings okay i have relative strength index three period apply to close color matches the background uh, color of the charts i have moving average 200 period moving average exponential moving average applied to previous indicators data and the color is green then i have uh one period uh smoothed uh moving average medium apply to medium price okay and the color is red then i have bollinger bands 340 period bollinger bands division is 0 0.119 shift is 50 apply to close and the color is black okay now let's look at the indicator window uh one now how this works is when the one period okay when the red and the green cross crosses the uh, Bollinger band like you have around here, it's time to sell. Okay, when it goes down, the green does not really uh, bend like more like a straight line, but the red bends down, bends up, turns down, turns up. Okay, but when the boat pops out of the Bollinger band, more like downward, you know it's time to sell. Okay. But when they pops up, when they turn up, like we have around here, okay, they are turning up clearly above the bullet job, and you know it's time to buy. All right. When they turn up above the Bollinger bands, both the red and the green line, if they turn up above the Bollinger band, it's time to buy. And if they turn downward below the Bollinger band, like we have around here, it's time to sell. Okay. Also, when the Bollinger Band is turning from turning upwards, okay, it's time to buy. And when the Bollinger Band is turning downwards, like you have uh, a cup shape, you know it's time to sell. If you have a cup shape of the Bollinger Bands, okay, it's time to buy. So that's basically what this strategy is all about. It's a simple strategy. You like it okay it's very good for uh, uh boom and crash it's also good for range break okay like you can see on the charts 
I enter I enter the cell and you can see what's happening and price you know price stays price entered into the uh, uh moving average here I have price entering into just a minute let me go back to it okay I have price entering into the moving average area around here then I have a breakout and I entered uh sell trade and I'm able to ride along you know the trend of course the trend uh developed somewhere around here I have a trend development somewhere around here okay so I entered around here let's look out for where there is a crossover where do we have the crossover oh the crossover is well above okay you have a cross cross of both price and the moving averages okay somewhere around there and since then you can see what has been happening price has been going down okay and it may likely continue to go down and you can see the moving average itself at uh, the bollinger band itself is also turning downwards okay so it's a good strategy you like it you like it you like it let's look at okay look at a touch a price and the moving average touched uh the bullish bar band there but you will expect all the uh, moving up the indicators and price to cross and cut down on the bullish but we have like a bounce okay like a bounce for the bullish continuation okay somewhere around here all right but look at a clear cross here okay and you have a buy that also continued here at the test of the bullish band here for price to go up all right and like we saw here a cross down of the moving averages and price cross down on the bollinger band okay for price to come down was so if you also look back to history look at the cross here up for price for for price to go up okay cross down for price to go down okay cross up for price to go up all right and cross down for price to go down okay so just like the way you have it on five minutes you can also use it on uh one minute time frame okay like on one minute time frame you can see the cross the crossing here of the uh of the move of price and the moving averages the cross they all cross down on the bollinger bands around here and you have your clear breakout somewhere below around here you can see what price is doing price is going down we have on, we are on, still on the one minute time frame we have a cross above the entire cross above the bollinger bands around here and you can see price went up all right let's go back into history cross down we are on the one minute time frame cross down you can see spike upon spike upon spike okay and there's one thing like i mentioned earlier that uh, of course price will go into the moving averages all right going to the moving average and spike down downwards at times to go above the 30 and spike downwards okay to touch the 7 and the 13 like you have here and spike downwards and continue to spike downwards but when it now start to go up above the 30 you like you have around here you know that the trend is about to end okay so if you look you are still on the one minute time frame look at what happened here okay they all crossed above okay and you can see price still went as high as this level okay cross above here Let's see what happened all right though you have a like a retest somewhere here, but it still went up price still went up okay so that's that let's also look at history as check the back test okay we can see what happened here let me delete this let me delete this still on the one minute time frame have a consolidation before the cross okay 
consolidation around here. But eventual breakout of the consolidation happened around here. All right. And price started to go down. Okay. Still on the one minute time frame, a break above. Okay. A cross above. And you can see what happened. Price start to go up. Still on the one minute time frame. Let's still check more into history and see the validity of this strategy. Okay. Let me remove this. Just a minute. Want us check in history and see the valid validity of this trial. Let me remove this. Okay, now we have a cross above here for us to have a scalp buy. All right, and you have a cross below. Okay, cross below for us to have a cell. It's a long cell, it shows the predominant. This long cell shows the predominant trend, which is a bearish trend. You can see how deep price, how deep price fell. All right, let's go back into history. You have a cross downwards. All right, you can see what happened. All right, and you have a cross above somewhere around here. All right, you can see what happened. Cross above somewhere around here. You can see what happened. So that's basically all about this strategy. It's a good strategy. You like it, make sure you back test it so that you can understand the strategy. Back test it so that you can, you can see price still going down. This online real time price is still spiking down. This crash 500 index. Can use this strategy on boom 500. You can use it on uh, crash 1000, boom 1000. You can use this strategy on range break all right can use it on volatility index 75 and others can use it on forex can use it to trade gold all right so for this exercise you can use it on one minute time frame you can use it on five minute time frame you can use it on 15 minute time frame for a wider view you can go to one hour four hours even daily weekly monthly all right it's a very good strategy you like it Make sure you backtest it, try it on demo account. It is very important that you try new strategies on demo account so that you don't lose your money in the process of learning how to make use of the strategy. Try it on demo account so that you understand how it works. All right, so that you perfect the way you make your entries and your exits, the way you identify the trend, the way you know when not to trade, the way you know when to trade. Try always try new strategies on demo accounts. All right, let me take the settings one more time before I leave. You have fractals on the main chart, you have a uh, 13 period uh, moving average, simple moving average. When price touch, touch the 13 period moving average, it tends to uh, always spike downward like this crash. So price will touch the 13 period around the spike. Touch almost get to the 13 period around the spike. All right. But when it crosses above the 30, then you have like trend is uh, the, the spike or the trend is coming to an end. Okay. But it still it went above 30 around here, but it still went down, which means it may likely trend may continue on the one minute time frame. So like I was explaining, you have the 13 period, simple moving average, color is blue. You have 30 period exponential moving average, applied to low. The 13 period is simple and applied to close. But the 30 P exponential moving average is applied to low, and the color is black. Then you have Bollinger Bands, 340 period, division is 0 0.119. Shift is 50 applied to close and the color is black. Then you have moving average, seven period moving average. The method is simple, applied to close. The color is pink. All right. And for indicator window one, we have relative strength index. Uh, the period is three applied to close and the color match is expected to match the background 
color of your chart. Then we have moving averages. The first one is 200 period exponential moving average applied to previous indicators data and the color is green. And the second one is one period smoothed uh, moving average applied to medium price and then the color is red. Then you now have Bollinger Bands 340 period. Division is 0 0.119. Shift is 50. Apply to close and the color is black. All right. So that's that for this strategy. It's a very good strategy. Make sure you back test it. Make sure you back test it. Try it on demo so that you understand how it works. All right. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you can see other videos that we have uh we have published on the youtube channel okay don't forget to like our videos it's very important for you to like our videos the more the likes the more the youtube algorithm will send our videos to other people that are not aware of our videos all right make sure you make comments if you like the video say you like it state it below the video all right also if you don't understand any part any part of the video just ask below the video who give explanation all right like some people are asked about the zoom level okay the zoom level you can just start with zoom one or zero or zoom out completely you can also use zoom one or two or three whatever zoom level you use just ensure you have a cross up or down above or below the bollinger bands okay any zoom level is okay but i like to use one or two all right so don't forget to click the subscription button which is a bell button below the video so that you get to you get a notification immediately we publish the next video all right our website is www.bnfxtrader.com when you visit our website you see other strategies we have published or now you can trade forex uh volatility index all right till i come your way next time is bye for now